Hello Troublemakers, welcome back to another Movie Commentary Monday. I want to take a moment to indulge myself and highlight a comment on my most recent video, which of course was the Big Bang Theory first and last. Amy B says, it's crazy how consistent this man's upload schedule is. Amy, I want to say thank you. Quite frankly, I'm a little bit insulted it's not talked about more. I have uploaded a Movie Commentary video every Monday for the last several years and no one talks about it. Can I get a little credit, please? No, 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 you don't need to apologize. If you want to show me your gratitude for how consistent I am with these Movie Commentary Monday videos, then you could just hit the like button on this video. Today, of course, is Monday, so thank you for coming back and tuning in. Pirates to the Caribbean, or Caribbean, if you don't know how to say the word, is a Johnny Depp movie. And if you don't know what's been going on with Johnny Depp, he was embroiled in a lawsuit. We're gonna watch Pirates of the Caribbean, though, today, because I have to. It's in my head now. Every article, Pirates of the Caribbean star Johnny Depp, and I'm like, ah, I want to watch that movie again. <laughs> I'm just so easy to market to, you just gotta say the thing, and which is why we have a no recommendation policy. It's just simply too easy to get in my head. Oh, my nose ring. <laughs> I genuinely forget every time. This film came out in 2003, so I was only one year old when this came out. I barely remember it. I was born in 2002. So because I remember so little, because I was a, a small little babe, I thought it'd be fun to revisit this. So let's watch it, man. And it's only in 480p. <laughs> Love it. 2003 was such a good time. Mostly because I was just born. So it was a great era of humanity. Uh-oh, ominous shot. Uh-oh, who's behind her? I think it's her father, right? <gasps> Quiet, Missy. Oh. oh, it's Wolverine. Consider them marked. Consider them marked. I'm so British. I think it'd be rather exciting to meet a pirate. Think again, Miss Swan. Yeah, you dumb child. Oh, no, it's a young boy. Oh, a young lad. Look, a boy. There's a boy in the water. There's a boy in the water. Get the boy from the water. Ah, the wreckage. Here we go. Pirates. Aye, matey. So now they're going to go try to save the seamen. <gasps> My name's Elizabeth Swan. Will Turner. Ooh, that necklace looks like it's worth something. Oh, look at that transition, huh? Now we're adults. And she's kept it all these years. Collecting dust on the... How is that collected dust? It's got a cover. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, would it collect dust? If it... And then I'm like, wait, I don't care. At all. But she just stole that? So how old is she supposed to be? And how old was she? How many years have passed? By eight? Eight years, I guess. I have a gift for you. Ooh. Oh, it's a nice fancy dress. May I inquire as to the occasion? You may. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could ever have servants. Because they just sit there waiting for commands and you're just like, go on. What? Go, leave, peasant. I don't, could you ever, I couldn't imagine doing that to a person. Leave us be now. Go on, fetch the, the, the butter. I was like, what would I have my servants fetch? And I could only think of butter. I don't know why. I had hoped you might wear it for the ceremony today. Commodore Dorrington. Fine gentleman, don't you think? Ah, uh, yep. He fancies you, you know. It doesn't matter. She's in love. Ah, there he is. Oh, he's a blacksmith. The blade is folded steel. Do pass my compliments on to your master. I shall. Uh-oh. Will. Will. <laughs> a dream about you last night. About the day we met, do you remember? How could I forget, Miss Swan? Well, uh, how? You were passed out for most of the time, so... Call me Elizabeth. At least once more, Miss Swan. <gasps> As always. Oh, God, they are so hot for each other. You can just hear it in the way they talk. They're, like, desperate for each other. Oh! <laughs> I know who this is. This is a man who's about to win a lawsuit. This just actually reminds me, I used to do, it like, in college, I used to do the best Jack Sparrow impression. Let's see if I still got it, all right? Arr, matey. You should walk the plank. Wow. I still got it. Oh, atmospheric. Look at this, just look at this. The atmosphere is impeccable. Oh, did you hear that? The sound effect? It's so rare that a sound effect just, it sounds so perfect. Listen to this sword unsheathing. Oh, oh, that just turned me on. May I have a moment? Oh. He's like, he's so dry. He's so boring. He's she's trying to win her over, but he's like a he's like a saltine cracker. I uh, apologize if I seem forward. A marriage to a fine woman. Oh no, sir. You have become a fine woman, Elizabeth. Oh uh, yeah, you were <laughs> you were an adult. You were an adult on a ship when she was a kid. We saw you, sir. You were like an employee of. The, you were like old enough to be working on the ship in a high ranking position. You can't watch a kid grow up and then when she's of age be like, all right, time to, time, time, time. 
It's time. That's just too creepy. I've watched you become a fine woman. Yeah, that's the problem. You see me as a kid. Off limits, sir. I'm a bit nervous myself. <laughs> Elizabeth? Elizabeth! Were you receiving her then? I can't swim. Oh, uh, see, this shows he's a good guy, right? Ooh, incredible form. Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, does the coin draw in the... Okay, okay, so the story... The reason I remember anything from the story is just... Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Aren't there like a bunch of dead... They need the coins to die? Like, they're all uh, living dead and they just want to rest peacefully. Or unless they turn alive again or something, I don't know. Do you really intend to kill my rescuer? No additional shots, nor powder. <gasps> oh! Tables turned! What are, they, what are they so afraid of? Is he gonna like crush her throat? Does he have the strength? Does he have the power? To just like he would have that would that's like a lot of force you'd need. I feel like they could still just like tackle him. Instead they give him a weapon, they give him his gun! <laughs> Oh, wow. Jack Sparrow is incredibly intelligent to just see. Like, he's like, I don't need my hostage anymore because I'm so confident this is going to work out. So he just... He just flicks a thing and then he flies. Oh, he's able to see like several steps ahead. That's impressive. Look at this. He's swinging to safety now. Yeah, they can't hit him. He planned for this, right? Yep. See, look at that. Incredible planning. And now he's in a zip line. Oh, my God. This skill. Oh, this is the blacksmith. This is Will Turner. I could be wrong, but there's a fight scene here. Oh, I was wondering. So before, when when Kira Knightley's dad was like, "Tell your master he did such a good job on the the blade work," Will looked upset, like almost like he wasn't getting the credit. But he was like, "No, no, no! I let him know that he did a great job." But it's gonna turn out that he's actually a drunk and a horrible blacksmith, and Will's been doing all the work. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna try to crush through the power of donkey? Is he gonna try to crush his chains? I don't think that's gonna work. I stand corrected. Right where I left you. Exactly, you're doing all the work, aren't you? Getting none of the credit. Oh, he didn't. Not where I left you. Yeah, you didn't leave that there, did you? Now you know there's an intruder. Whose hat is that? How will? I. Ooh, hoo -hoo, sexy. Fights are sexy, man. Look at this. Oh, the sound effects. Sound effects. That's so creative. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Oh my god. I remember this so well. Like, this is actually stuck in my brain. How fun this is. This is so fun. Oh my god. Oh. Fight choreographer. Legendary stuff here. You've assisted in the capture of a dangerous fugitive. Just doing my civic duty, sir. <laughs> there you go, miss. It was a difficult day for you, I'm sure. What was this trick? There, there you go, miss. Uh, so they put hot embers, hot wood embers. There you go, miss. Into the, onto the, doesn't that burn the mattress? Well, I meant you being threatened by that pirate. Sounds terrifying. She wasn't terrified, she was turned on. Yes, it was terrifying. Oh, yeah, you didn't hear that? That's a girl who's turned on if I've ever seen one. I actually don't know if I have ever seen one. Oh, God damn. Why is everyone so attractive in this movie? <laughs> you can have all the adults running around screaming, and I'm like, yeah, fun chaos. You have a kid crying for his mom because he doesn't know what's going on? I'm gonna like lose it. How sad is this little boy? Great acting on his part. Let's watch him scream one more time. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> if you don't feel anything, you're a sociopath. <laughs> Ooh, axe to the back. But they can't die, can they, right? They're like immortal, but against their will. Hello, chump. <laughs> Oh, this is a Disney movie. Wait, what is this? Oh, it is PG-13. I was gonna say, you saw his body drop. Hello, chump. Boom! Oh, <laughs> he dead as fuck. Hello, puppy. <laughs> oh, that's frightening. Say goodbye. 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 Oh, it's too cheesy. The deepest circle of hell is reserved for betrayers and mutineers. Oh. Yep. 
So there is a curse. So did they betray him? Um, okay. I actually don't remember this part of the story. I mean, give me a little slack. I was one year old when I first saw this, so. Ah, this is Solomon. Sebastian Solomon. She's invoked the rug of parlay with Captain Barbosa. Captain Solomon. Bartoso. Ah, oh, monkey! What's the monkey's name? Tra Travis? Travis and Solomon. Bartoso. I remember them. Yes, I do. I'll drop it. <laughs> oh no. It's not like we could jump in immediately after and, and grab it. <laughs> Even if it sinks, you're all dead. You can just swim down to the bottom and grab it. I recognize this ship. I saw it eight years ago on the crossing from England. What did I say? Hey, it's how many, how many years has it been? About eight? How many years have passed? By eight? Eight years, I guess. What a guess. What a skilled guess. You have a name. Elizabeth Turner. Miss Turner. Bootstrap. Oh, so they think, oh man, it's messy. But I think Will's father is like also a pirate. And because she has the thing, they think she's the child of Bootstrap Turner. So ironically, her giving the alias was worse than just giving her real name. Because they don't care about the governor's daughter. They've taken Elizabeth. Remove this man. Remove this man. <laughs> He's such a salty cracker. That's not good enough. Oh, Mr. Turner. He literally won't even look at Will Turner. Does he know he's a romantic rival, or does he just have, like, the superiority complex? Do not make the mistake of thinking you are the only man here who cares for Elizabeth. Ah, uh, he does know. Uh, and you gotta recognize, you're not, you're like an average-looking dude. And that's Orlando Bloom. Just at his peak handsomeness, you know? What's your name? Will Turner. No doubt name for your father, eh? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I remember this. I just remember thinking like the science. I don't know if the science of this even works out. This is either madness or brilliance. Everyone stay calm. We are taking over the ship. This ship cannot be crewed by two men. You know what? I, uh, I began working on a, a pirate novel some years ago, which I never finished, surprisingly. Shut up. And I was just thinking like, you need a crew to properly run and sail a ship. Like a minimum of like 10 men. It is without doubt the worst pirate I have ever seen. So it's every cabin, every hole down to the bilges. And then they're gonna steal the other ship, the smaller one? Send us back to the interceptor, now! <laughs> How much fun was that guy's day? That's something I must have had a blast. That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. So it would seem. <laughs> ah, this is so much fun! And the score. You knew my father. Probably one of the few who knew him as William Turner. Everyone else just called him Bootstrap or Bootstrap Bill. Skull! Just the aggressive rack focus. So we got the focus on her, and then we got the blur on the back of Jack Sparrow. And then as slap, comically, out of focus and in focus. That's known as a rack focus, when you focus on one thing and then you change the focus so that the thing that was in focus before is not blurred and the thing that was blurred before is not focus. A little bit cartoonish to do that with the uh, with the slap, but it's Disney, it's fun. It's a swashbuckling adventure. That was for the smell. Ah, yeah, see, here, here's the thing you don't really talk about or think about with pirates. Smell, they probably smell so bad. Why? Well, when were showers invented? Do they have showers? I don't think they had showers. They had baths, but they didn't have showers. So Seven probably had like a general stink to them. And pirates, they're just criminals on this. Oh, they probably stink so bad. Everyone's like, oh, pir pirates must be so fun to be a pirate. Yeah, if you want to smell all day. And also think about this. What's there to do on a pirate ship? You raid. How, how often do you raid? Once a month? A lot of time you're on the sea looking for ships to hit. A lot of downtime. A lot of just laying back, doing nothing. Do you know what these pirates did? They just laid in their bunks, looked at the water. Do you know what I would have told these pirates if I lived back then? I would have said, hey, you guys should sign up for Audible. Today's sponsor. <laughs> Arr, mateys. This video is sponsored by Audible. Let me ask you something, laddie. That's Irish. I'm an Irish pirate, okay? Do you ever find yourself on the open seas? Under the watchful gaze of Poseidon. Just bored to the stilts. Ye be lucky, laddie. Because a lad over here has a, a deal for your. Audible is the world's largest collection of spoken word entertainment. Spoken word, ever heard of it? Audiobooks, podcasts, endless hours of content, all at your fingertips. I know for myself, if I were out at sea for weeks on end, there is nothing more that I would love to do than to listen to an audiobook about a cancerous, snarky teenage girl who falls in love with the guy who puts a cigarette in between his lips, but he never lights it. 
Why? Well, you have to listen to the audiobook to find out for yourself. And let me help you. I'll give it to you for free. Head to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. That link is in the description. Or you can otherwise text Dylan is in trouble to 500, 500 Just another easy way to get started. And you will get a free audiobook of your choice that you get to keep forever. You want The Fault in Our Stars? It's yours. Free. You want anything else? Yours. Free. Go over to Audible and take a look. Peruse for yourself. If you find something you like, use my link. You'll get it for free. It's like I'm buying it for you. Audiobooks on me, everybody. First one's free, and then every month here on after that you're signed up, you'll get an additional credit to spend on any audiobook of your choosing. Audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. You get a 30-day trial, as well as a free audiobook to listen to whatever you like. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to Pirates of the Caribbean. What makes you think Bob Bowser will give up his ship to you? Oh, he's... He's gonna barter Will? That is the child of Bootstrap Bill Turner, his only child. <gasps> okay, so to summarize what I think is going on, so I think Jack Sparrow believes that Barbosa and Travis, they're searching for Will. But really they're searching for Will's necklace. But they already have Will's necklace, but Jack Sparrow doesn't know that. Because Barbosa and Travis, they think, they think, they have Bootstrap's child. When it's a girl, not a boy. So I think Jack's gonna try to trade Will, but they, they don't need them. Maybe I could be wrong about that. I can't help but smile. I don't know, something about pirate stories are just so fun. Try the wine and the apples, one of those next. It's poisoned. There would be no sense to be killing you, Miss Turner. <laughs> it's po- well, yeah, because they couldn't just fucking stab you and throw you overboard, right? It's poison. Why, why would you think it's a po- The only deep reason you need poison is to like kill discreetly, subtly, in a way that wouldn't arouse suspicion. Why would you say- Oh, you're- Dumb. So the heathen gods placed upon the gold a curse, a terrible curse, a terrible one. <laughs> An immortal that removes but a single piece from that stone chest shall be punished for eternity. Aye, matey. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be restored and the blood repaid. They need the blood of will. <laughs> Why though? I don't know. Oh, nightmare fuel. Oh, I feel like this is kind of like a good Halloween movie. This is this would be a fun movie to throw into your rotation every Halloween. It's got that horror element, but it's also like safe. Ah, Travis, what happened? You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. Oh. You're in one. Oh, oh what a line. Oh, this movie is so. Good. So now we're here. That's the last piece of gold. Where they're gonna try to use her blood, but it doesn't work. Pretty sure that's the sequence of events. They maroon Jack on an island and left him to die. When a pirate's marooned, he's given a pistol with a single shot. But Jack, he escaped the island and he still has that single shot. He won't use it though, save on one man. He's mutinous for his mate. Travis. Barbosa. Oh, oh, right. Now they have all the treasure that they stole. They've spent the last 10 years retrieving it. It's all here now. And they think... Her blood is going to save them. Once we're quit of the curse, we'll be rich men. Oh, so they don't die with the curse. Uh, not yet. Oh, Travis, you learned a Travis. Aw, oh, huge mistake. He's gonna uncover you now. <laughs> I thought they were gonna just slice her hand and then like drip her blood onto the, uh, the, the gold and then it, nothing was gonna happen. They're gonna be like, oh, but I think he's gonna slit her throat, which is kind of like what a pirate would do. Sorry, Jack. I'm not gonna be your leverage. Oh, he knows! He knows Jack was gonna betray him! Oh, so he does cut her hand. <laughs> he bent her over. I thought he was gonna go for the jugular and all the blow was gonna come rushing over it. He's such a nice That's pirate. It. Waste not. Wrong blood, bro. Wrong blood. Did it work? How do we tell? <laughs> You're not dead. He shot me. Oh, yeah. Was your father William Turner? No. It was you who sent Bootstrap to the dates! Wait, 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 what happened? It was you who sent Bootstrap to the dates! To the de I don't know why they need Will's blood. And I don't know that we're gonna get an answer to it. You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> he got hit in the head. It's funny. Polly? That's the one. How the blazes did you get off that island? You forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Jack Sparrow. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Kill him. Why do they want? See, they, that's the thing. Is they mutineered against him? Mutineered? Mutinied? They went against him, marooned him, and then went to go get the gold. So honestly, they should probably turn back to Jack to help save them. Why do they want to kill him so bad? Yeah. 
Let me. Oh. You said you gave Barbosa my name as yours. Why? Because she wants to marry you! <sighs> I'm sorry, Blacksmith Sands. God, know. Yeah, they're so fucking attractive. And yeah, they're good looking in real life. True. But specifically in this world with this makeup, with this atmosphere, these are like the most attractive people to ever exist. Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley in Pirates of the Caribbean specifically, like the scale doesn't go high enough to account for them. Like they are, they are beyond. I don't know. These are gods. But don't stop. Mm -hmm. It's yours. I thought I'd lost it the day they rescued me. She stole it all this time. She's a little thief. Why did you take it? Yeah. Answer. Because I was afraid that you were a pirate. It wasn't your blood they needed. Oh, he's over it. <laughs> it was my father's blood. My blood. My blood. <laughs> he. I'm so good at predicting lines of this movie I've seen before. So you expect to leave me standing on some beach with nothing but a name and your word, it's the one I need. So, am I under the, the, the correct impression? They don't know the name of Bootstrap Turner. They don't know the, his first name, William, which is also his son's name. So in exchange for the ship, essentially, Jack is offering the name, Will, <laughs> which is the father's name, which somehow they don't know, which is crazy. This is the fastest ship in the Caribbean. Caribbean. Did she say Caribbean? Oh, God, lady. Oh my God, close. Oh. <laughs> how are you, how are you supposed to find a tiny medallion necklace? Now that the, the cabin is flooded, there's just debris every, oh, what a nightmare. No, how does he find this? They can't die, they're immortal. Why are you shooting them? Who decided to fight them? That was a dumb strategy. Oh, the magic monkey has it. Well, that monkey's got a nose for gold. Where's the medallion? Where? She's been captive on a ship for how many days? Look at those nails. Did they give her like a nail file to just like perfectly shake them every day? Oh, she got some pretty ass hands though. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying like I'm into that thing specifically. It's like it's not like a thing. It's not like where I'm like, oh, hands, yes. But it's like when I see a good set of hands, I'm gonna point it out. Okay. Well, thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Not you. We named the monkey Jack. Jack. Travis Jack. That's a weird name. It's a weird full name for a monkey. <laughs> It does seem a shame to lose something so fine. So I'd be having that dress back. <laughs> Goes with your black heart. Oh, you really hit him where it hurts. Oh no, she thinks I have a bad heart. Oh no. <laughs> I think this guy, I, to be honest, I don't blame him all that much. Orlando Bloom looks so good in this movie, but he is just like, what is this? What is this? He's like about to about to lick his ear. Oh, he's about to get in his drum. He's about to rim that drum. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. Perhaps we'll be able to conjure up another miraculous escape. The rum runners use this island as a cache. They've long been out of business. Inner monologue, Dylan here. So I hear a noise and I pause the movie. You hear that? What is that? So I take my headphones off. That's the people above me, right? It's gotta be. Unless it's coming from your own apartment. Did you lock the door? Is someone robbing you right now? What if they kick the door down and kill you right now, Dylan? And then I make the bold decision to not care. If they were gonna burst in and kill me, they would have done it by now. So I just figured let's get back to the movie. Infamous Jack Sparrow. Oh, she got an idea. What's her plan to get him drunk? Why? No. What's her plan? She's got an idea. Then you will be positively the most fearsome pirates in the Spanish Bay. It must be really terrible for you to be trapped on this island. Is her strategy to like inspire him? <laughs> is that her goal? To freedom. Nope, her goal is to get him drunk. She's got a, yeah, she's got a strategy. I can't imagine what it would, what it would be. Why would him being passed out help at all? Oh. No! Wait, she set fire to the alcohol. Yes, the rum is gone. Why is the rum gone? That signal is over a thousand feet high. The entire Royal Navy is out looking for me. Do you give it one hour, maybe two? 
<laughs> he wants to shoot her because she burned the room. That's so funny. Commodore, I beg you, please do this as a wedding gift. Oh! She'll marry him if she, if he saves her other love. Oh, I don't know. that's a good strategy. Because you could just let Will die and then have her father continually over the next however many days, weeks, months, years get in her ear about marrying you. I, I think that's a bad... I'd say no. I'd say no, dog. Never sat well with Bootstrap what we did to Jack Sparrow. The mutiny and all. Oh. He said it wasn't right with the code. Ah. He said we deserve to be cursed. And last we saw of old Bill Turner, he was sinking to the crushing black oblivion of Davy Jones' locker. Of course, it was only after that we learned we needed his blood to lift the curse. Why do they need his blood, though? I must have missed that part. This movie's too well done to have, like, a loophole of being just like, oh, well, they just need it because they need it, right? So there's a reason. <laughs> okay, now they're really gonna slit the throat. <laughs> God, this is so funny. Like, they just keep stranding him and he keeps coming back and he just strolls in. You don't want to be doing that, mate. Your funeral. <laughs> Why don't I want to be doing it? Pride of the Royal Navy is floating just offshore. Wait to lift the curse until the opportune moment. For instance, after you've killed Norrington's men. You've been planning this from the beginning, ever since you learned my name. Oh, they, they're, they're, <laughs> they work so well together. He's just like reading Jack. And he knows the plan. Oh, love it. Bromance. But they hate each other. Weird kind of bromance, but... Ah, yeah, see, they can basically breathe underwater. Because they can't die. Or they're not alive. Right? So why were they so afraid before of her dropping the thing on the bottom of the ocean? I guess maybe they would lose it. Like, it get covered in sand easily. I... No, no. Because the thing calls to them. The gold calls so they would be able to find it. It's like sonar. They could, like, hone in on it. <laughs> Really is a lot of death in this, which makes it a top tier Disney film. <laughs> Skeletons fighting a bunch of seamen. It's like a great battle setup. <laughs> All right, so you got the big battle out on the boats, and then they got Will and Jack against Barbosa. I, I wish Travis had a even like a dagger, and they could have like battled him. I just, I just a little small complaint. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that cry? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Imagine punching someone and that's what you hear. <laughs> ah, tra Travis, calm down. <laughs> Did she beat up the monkey? Okay, 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 okay. So uh, there's some trickery. So Jack stole one of the medallions. So he, I think he's technically under the curse. <laughs> oh yeah, see, okay, he's dead. He's technically cursed. See, I thought maybe he would be able to be cursed because the initial curse, because all these pirates, they went out and spent these coins years ago before they knew there was a curse. So all the people that then took it as payment, they weren't cursed because they had the coin, right? Like Elizabeth wasn't cursed the entire time because she held onto the coin. I guess maybe if you like, you knowingly steal a coin from the original box that came in. I don't know what the rules are technically. Jack must have, because he knew this was going to be the outcome. So now Will, I think, slits his hand. The last of the coins in there. So the curse is lifted, then he shoots him. Yeah? yeah. That's interesting. Why are they even fighting? Like neither can defeat the other. <laughs> Oh, in and out of the moonlight. That's so cool. We to be two immortals locked in an yeah. epic battle. That's what I'm saying. Why are they coming to the ship? What are you gonna do? You're just gonna get killed. What's the use? What's the use here? I'm gonna teach you the meaning of pain. You like pain? Oh, whew. If you're delivering it. Nope, nope, that was Jack. Oh, he Ten years he's... you carry that pistol, now you waste your shot. Nope, it's not a wasted shot. He didn't waste it. Well, he hasn't dropped it yet? Eh, hold, let me see this. Okay. <laughs> now I need an explanation. He shot him while he was still immortal. But I get maybe the bullet was lodged in his heart. I guess I don't know, like, when they suffer injury while they're immortal. D does it like regenerate? So they need a little bit of time, I assume. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, Barbosa's dead. Oh my bad. They got lucky though. I was about to say like my bad. The guys coming back to the ship to fight was actually a good decision, but it's not. They just got lucky with timing. They didn't know that the curse was gonna be lifted. 
I don't even know if they knew about the curse. Like, I knew they they had heard about it, but I don't know if they actually believed it. Oh, God damn it. Stop looking at each other. You two are too attractive. You can't be in the same room together. It's unfair. Your fiance will be one who deny your sight. She's not gonna marry him. Jack Sparrow. That you have Captain, been Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Uh, is that Will? Oh, that hat suits him, man. Which is saying something, because that hat doesn't suit anybody. I should have told you every day from the moment I met you. I love you. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love how inept all these people with guns are. <laughs> you forget your place, Turner. It's right here, between you and Jack. Oh, her too? This is mine. This is mine. Oh, that's gotta sting. I actually feel a little bit bad. Because she made a promise. She made a, an agreement. I'll marry you if you save Will. And then you save Will. And now she's like, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go with Will. Sorry. That is mean. So this is where your heart truly lies, then? Ah, oh, shut up, Saltine. Elizabeth. It would never have worked between us, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, the pearl! There she be! What's your plan of action, sir? Uh-oh. Pursuing the right course demands an act of piracy. Piracy itself can be the right course. Well, he didn't get the girl, but at least he learned a lesson. Which is more valuable than a hot wife would be. So, who really won here? I think Saltine ends up on top. Maybe we can all agree. This is a beautiful sword. I would expect the man who made it to show the same care and devotion in every aspect of his life. Oh, he's a good guy. He's giving up his woman. Commodore! What about Sparrow? Well, oh, I think we can afford to give him one day's head start. I feel like his men gotta respect him a little bit less. Like, he, he just saw the woman he was betrothed to choose another man. A man who just committed a serious crime of stopping an execution of a renowned pirate who then escaped because of the help of the man your woman declared her love for. I, ah, and all your men watch that. And then they're like, hey, we should probably go after the, the dangerous pirates who we've been chasing. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just like depression. He's like, I, I'm gonna go cry today. We'll do it tomorrow. Uh, I think that's the sexiest kiss I've ever seen in my life. Not from the kiss itself, but just the accumulative score of both parties. They're so attractive. And there she be! The movie over it. What a joy that was to watch. That was genuinely such a good time. I think that's what this movie did really well. There would be times where they drop in a little bit of information here, a little bit of information there, but it was always in this grand scheme of like, there was missions and goals, and there was so much that happens. And I think that's what kept it interesting. It was a, it's almost two and a half hours long, but they always managed to keep it interesting because there's always something happening, always schemes, always plans. That's what makes Jack such a good character. It's just like, he's always thinking, always planning. Don't forget to head to audible.com slash still and is it trouble? You scallywags. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you next Monday, which is when the next movie commentary Monday will be released. I'll see you then, matey. Oh, just another Jack Sparrow impression. Toodles.